Hai Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Muhammad Aris bin Ismail, CN210382 from group 4 section 1. As you can see this is a slide for thermodynamics projects and this is our topic given for our group which is passive and active solar heating system. Cost differences between two systems and our lecturer name is TS Dr. Muhammad Norizam bin Muhammad Muhammad Jaat atau Muhammad Nur. As you can see, this is my fellow teammates, me, myself, Mama Aris bin Ismail, CN210382, Alex Kong Pang Tong, AN210151, and lastly, Dashun Kumar Anak Laki Santesh Kumar, CN210295. Hello, my name is Dashun Kumar Sano Satish Kumar, my matrix number is CN210295. I am here to talk about the introduction of solar energy. Science advancements offer ways to use solar energy while solar energy panels are the most common way to power your house and solar heating is an under-reactive technique that should not be discreted. Solar heating devices are nothing new. Humans have used them for thousands of years. Then being started, homeowners can profit by investigating the various applications for solar heating panel or system that can keep us warm and significantly lower those under gross expenses. Objectives First, to capture the sun's heat within the building element and to release that heat during periods when the sun is absent while also maintaining a comfortable room temperature. The second objective is to reduce the amount of air pollution and greenhouse cases that result from your use of fossil fuel or heating or generating electricity. Thank you. Okay, for the literature review, as we all know, solar panels are not only method of capturing and using solar energy. Although the idea of photovoltaic solar panels which turns light into electricity is well known, it is not only the way to use the sun energy, while solar panels are most common way to power your house. Solar heating is an underutilized technology that should not be dis disregarded. Solar heating system are nothing new. Human have used them for thousands of years. Okay, active solar heating. Active solar heating system transfer the heated fluid, either liquid or air directly to the interior space or to a storage system for a later use. An auxiliary or backup system provide the extra heat if the solar system is unable to provide sufficient space heating. When storage is present, Liquid systems are more frequently employed and are ideal for absorption heat, heat pumps, cooler, and boilers with hot water radiators. Systems that use liquid, liquid or air can be added to force air system. As for the passive solar heating, in simple terms, a passive solar home collects heat as the sun shines through south facing windows and retains if it in materials that store heat, known as thermal mice. When the sun is not present, such as at night, passive solar heating system release the heat that has been stored in the building materials. The design must be include soft facing glass and thermal mice to effectively absorb, store and distribute heat. A passive solar building collects heat from the sun through soft facing windows and store it in materials known as the thermal mass or throughout the structure. As we can see on the left side, we can see the figure of the active solar heating system which come from the sun and the solar panel itself which use for heat absorption and we store it in the hot water tank and is flow into the heat exchanger and through the heat radiators 
and throughout the whole house. And for the passive solar heating, we can see the sun is facing through the south facing windows and will shine through the windows and store the heat into the thermal mass which is the below below of the house for application of active solar heating system the active solar heating system use mechanical means to store collect and transfer solar energy in homes to offer space heating or hot water the sunlight falling on the toilet design is converted to heat which is in turn taken to a carrier fit and to the conversion storage and distribution system Next application is passive solar heating system. Here is tumble walls which are dark pan tip muscle walls are commonly used on south side of passive solar homes to absorb solar energy, store it during the day and release it to the house during the night. Usually a single or double layer of glassing is placed outside the wall and transmits most of the solar energy while blocking heat loss from the exposed surface of the wall to the outside. Also, air vents are commonly installed at the bottom and top of the tumble walls so that the long air enters the parallel floor channel between the tumble walls and the glassing lights as it is heated and enters the room to the top vent. Next is calculation and formulation. FT solar heating systems are more expensive than passive solar heating systems. FT solar heating systems cost $2,300 to $6,000 and are more effective in total climates. Passive solar heating system costs $1,000 to $3,700, having no moving parts and are easier to maintain. Okay, for the discussion, as we can see, this is the differences of the passive solar heating and active solar heating. For the passive solar heating, pumps, blowers, and other mechanical components are not required to operate this system. As for the active, Pump, blowers and other mechanical devices are required in the system to circulate the working fluid that carries the heat. And passive, there must be a unique building design. As for the active, there is no need for a unique building design. Passive, a part of a structure itself in the system responsible for collecting solar radiation. The different components of the building such as walls, roof, windows and partition are chosen and architecturally integrated in such way that they contribute to the thermal energy collection, storage, transportation, and distribution. As for the active solar heating, the solar radiation are gathered using different type of collector in this heating system, using pump, blowers, fan, and other HVAC equipment. Solar energy is distributed throughout the building after being stored in sensible or latent heat storage materials. And for the passive, this system works best in climates with plentiful winters, sunshine and potential for a self exposure without obstruction. And for the active solar heating, almost any location and type of building can use an active system. And for the passive, we and for the passive, construction and operation costs are lower than the active system. And for the active, for the active system, construction and maintenance costs are higher than the passive system. Okay, lastly, for the conclusion and recommendation for the passive solar heating, we can conclude by using the passive solar energy design to heat and cooling your home we can be economical and environmental friendly since the sun is free it only makes sense to use it since no additional mechanical equipment is used any solar gains are blocked in through windows with the least amount of electricity pumps or fan needed to distribute the heat or create an effect cooling this is what meant by the term of passive as a result, the building reacts to its surrounding. It is more difficult to use the passive solar for heating because the solar energy that reaches the, the earth is dispersed over the vast area, making it challenges, challenging to capture and utilize. The sun does not provide all that 
that much energy to one location at once. Depending on the time of the day, the season of the year, the amount of cloud cover in the sky and your distance from the equator. A region will receive different amount of solar energy. Okay, as for the for our recommendation, a well-planned passive solar home will have year-round comfortable temperature and make good use of natural light. As a result, it will use less energy to heat, cool and light than a typical house. This will help you save money and the environment by producing fewer greenhouse gas emission. Building must be situated and constructed using passive solar energy in order to interact favorably with your surrounding and climates. Okay, for the active solar heating, we can conclude that in cold climates with good solar resources, active solar heating system are most cost effective when they are replacing more expensive heating fuels like electricity, propane and oil for solar energy system. Some states provide sales tax exemption, income tax credit or deduction and property tax exemption or deduction. The amount of heat that a solar heating system can produce depends on the local climates and the type and efficiency of the collector and the collector area. And for our group recommendation for the active solar heating is in addition to the fact that it's, it is typically impractical and expensive to design an active system to provide enough heat 100% of the time. Most building codes and mon mon mortgage lenders demand a backup heating system when the solar system is unable to meet the required heat load, supplemental or backup system that provide heat. A wood stove or a traditional central heating system are both acceptable backups. Okay, that's all for our group presentation and thank you.